you're not supposed to write an essay you are not asked to write a motivational letter you are not asked to write a personal statement it's just a cover letter and then you see people write a cover letter in one sentence okay do not please i am writing to apply for the position of a teacher in your organization you don't say no you carry with you write for company a write for company b and you are watching my videos people who watch my videos don't do that okay if it's your first time don't do it again repent repent let's talk cover later i think this is going to be the first video on cover later on this channel ever yes so you really want to watch this video till the very end according to novo resume in 98 percent of cases you should include a cover letter in your job application now even though recruiters might not always read it they still expect you to submit one a great cover letter can really boost your chances and help you stand out from the crowd have you liked this video yet <laughs> Okay, so what's a cover letter and why should you bother? A cover letter is a one-page application document that can help clarify your qualifications. Think of it as a personal introduction to your resume. While your resume lists your skills and experiences, the cover letter gives you a chance to explain more why you're excited about the role, the job, and why you think you'll be a great fit. For example, if you're applying for a job at a cool tech startup, your resume might list tech skills and your past experiences, work experiences. But in your cover letter, you can explain why you love working with new technology and how you're really excited about their innovative project. Now, because I said cover letters are important or Novo Resume, say in 98% of your job applications, you should always attach one. Doesn't mean in every job application you apply for, you attach a cover letter. Let me give you five reasons to include a cover letter in your application number one if it's requested number two if you feel it's going to increase your chances of getting an interview number three you're applying for a position where your writing skills relationship building skills will be evaluated number four four abby yeah number four you're transitioning into a new industry or you have little or no experience in the industry Number five, if there's been a gap in your career trajectory and you feel the need to explain why, that gap is in your resume and you don't know how to explain it in your resume. I do. I feel like it's something I have to tell you. I have to show you how to do, but that will not be in this video. Yeah, so you need to explain that gap in your cover letter. Yeah, so five reasons to include the cover letter in your application. It's requested to increase your chances of getting an interview. Number three, you're applying for a writing position. You're transitioning into a new industry. Number five, you need to explain the gap in your career trajectory. Second plan? I hope so. Let me know in the comment section if you understand what I'm saying. Okay. Now let's talk about the actual structure of your cover letter. <sighs> I see people, I see cover letters and I'm like, okay. You're not supposed to write an essay. You're not asked to write a motivational data. You are not asked to write a personal statement. It's just a cover letter. And then you see people write a cover letter in one sentence. Okay, the fact they're not supposed to write an essay doesn't mean you shouldn't care at all. Okay, so your cover letter should be one page. Number two should be like three to four paragraphs. Three to four paragraphs. Okay, three is better. It's just like having a one page resume. It's just like when I tell you your resume should not be more than two pages. But if you can have a beta, dope. Okay. <laughs> so your cover letter should be like three to four paragraphs. If you give me three, ooh, nice. All right, so what should you include in your cover letter? Let's start with your contact information. Start with your name. I use different formats for my clients. I can either use the left, the center, the middle, or the right. I believe it's the right though, yes. I use the left and the center. It starts with your name followed by your email address, followed by your number, phone number, and your address. Okay, next should be the date before the information of the company you're applying to, which will basically include the name of the company, the address, and followed by the salutation. If you know the person you're addressing the cover letter to, nice. But if you don't, dear hiring manager, it's okay. If you do, just say, dear Miss Yvonne. <laughs> Okay. For the salutation, I do add a sentence which will include the role you're applying for. Yeah, I'm just going to drop the link to my cover letter template. Get it, download it. 
I'm going to drop the link in the pinned comment and in the description, okay? So after the salutation comes the introduction. You don't need to be an award-winning writer to write a good cover letter. However, this is the most important part of your cover letter, the opening paragraph. You want your opening paragraph to be engaging and attention grabbing to ensure that the hiring manager will continue reading the cover letter. Recruiters go through hundreds of applications daily. You have no idea. I know this. So no one has the time to be giving you benefit of the doubt. You really do want to pitch yourself at the goal. So you want to get that attention from your opening paragraph. Let me give you some examples. You know I got you. <laughs> My name is Amy and I would like to help your company exceed its sales target as a sales manager. My five-year experience as a sales representative at ABC has given me substantial skills in sales. During my last year working there, we beat KPIs by 50%. I believe that my expertise in sales makes me the perfect candidate for a position. Another example, as an educator, I am passionate about providing every student with access to high quality education from an early age. This is essential for promoting equality, fostering societal progress. I greatly admire your organization's dedication to delivering exceptional education to even the most remote areas and I will be thrilled to support these efforts by joining your team as an online tutor. Now these two examples are what you should emulate, 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 I think I'm correct, emulate. <laughs> now the next one is what you should not do. I am excited to apply for the sales manager position at ABC. I believe my background in sales would make me a good fit for your team. Mm -hmm. Really? Or start with something like this. I am writing to apply for the position of a teacher in your organization. You don't say. Or you start with the old faithful. My name is Amy and I'm interested in working. I don't know why I'm using Amy. <laughs> okay, let's get back to business. My name is Amy and I'm interested in working as a sales manager for your company. I have six years of experience working as a sales manager for company A. So I think I'm a good fit for the company. Wow. So see, while there is nothing inherently wrong with this last example, it's not all that imaginative. Chances are every other applicant are starting their opening paragraph like this. Yes, that's why I called it uh, all faithful. <laughs> The first example I gave, on the other hand, is more customized, it's more personal. Helping the recruiter understand why Amy, <laughs> no, I'm using Amy. Okay. Helping the recruiters understand why Amy is a good fit for the position. She gave me metrics, she gave me numbers. She's confident. She knows she's a good fit for the position, even without saying it. Now let's talk about the body why are you a good fit here you want to explain why you're the perfect fit for the role highlight your skills and experiences for example i have three years of experience in digital marketing where i successfully increased social media engagement by 30 percent you know i love numbers so yeah quantify your achievement uh -huh. you should watch this video on how to write a resume <laughs> yeah now, your next paragraph should be why you want to work for the company. Remember, this is the third paragraph. The first was your opening paragraph. The second, why you think you're a good fit. The third, why do you want to work for this company? Here, you also want to tell them why you're excited about the job. Show them that you've done your homework. This is not just the job you come across online and they're okay. I'm a digital marketer, make I apply without doing your research. Now, you might say something like, I'm impressed by the Ufana fans' commitment to posting content three times a week on her YouTube channel. And I would love to contribute to your existing success and consistency. Have you liked this video yet? Like this video so it can reach a wider audience. Subscribe to the channel if you're yet to. Let's reach 6K this month. You guys. We can do it. This is September and today is what? 16th of September. We can reach 6K this month, even past Seth. So like this video and if you're yet subscribed to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, share this video so it can reach a wider audience. There are lots of people that are yet to see my channel and you are sitting on them.
let's wrap this up with the conclusion here you can restate your enthusiasm and ask for an interview you can say something like i'm excited about the opportunity to discuss how my skills align with your needs and i'll be open to discussing more looking forward to hearing from you here you can also include your email address or your contact information let's call it that your phone number or your email address i prefer email address i use email address for my clients yes yeah i know it's up there you can restate it here sign out by saying sincerely fun a fan now before we go here is a few tips for you always research the company don't be lazy when i'm writing for my clients i always ask them for the jd i ask them what role do you want to apply for oh i want to apply for a sales i want to apply for this role as a sales manager and i'm like okay do you have a company in mind which company are you applying to send me the link if you have it if you don't just tell me the company and guess what i would do i do the research myself because i want this cover letter to be personalized i want my clients to get this job so don't be lazy if i'm doing this for someone i know they are paying me for it yes but if I, they don't know that, they don't know I do all, they don't know all of this. I just write writing anything on my head and set it up. But if I'm doing this for someone else, why can't you do it for yourself? Always tailor your application materials to suit the company and the role you are applying for. Number three, be direct. Don't beat around the bush. This helps recruiters know the position you're applying for because imagine they're applying, imagine they are recruiting for maybe five positions. Yeah, just there. I told you earlier, I do something for my clients before salutation. And the format I use for my clients is in the description and in the pin comment. Click on it and download it. Now to the next step, don't copy your resume to your cover letter. Don't just copy and dump all the information in your resume to your cover letter. What's the point of writing one? Well, make sure that the details match what you're saying in your cover letter. For instance, you are definitely going to mention an experience or two in your cover letter it should be what's listed in your resume don't just copy your resume word for word and paste on your cover letter you'll be wasting your time don't do that okay so that's all i have to share with you about cover letters remember the template is in the description and in the pinned comment thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful if you have any questions at all leave them in the comment section and i will definitely respond to it as always thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye